For most of human history, collaboration meant being in the same room. If two people wanted to work on the same document, they had to physically pass papers back and forth. Even as computers became widespread, collaboration online remained frustratingly slow. Teams had to email documents, wait for edits, and carefully merge versions, a process filled with delays, miscommunications, and sometimes lost work. But what if multiple people could edit the same document at the same time, no matter where they were? This idea first surfaced in the 1960s and 70s, when companies like IBM and Xerox began experimenting with time-sharing systems, allowing multiple users to interact with a mainframe computer. Then, in the 1980s, Lotus Notes pioneered early network collaboration, which allowed multiple users to work on a shared document within a connected system. This meant rather than sending files back and forth via email, teams could store, access, and edit documents in a shared environment. However, despite these advancements, real-time editing remained elusive as users still had to refresh or manually check for updates made by others. Then, in the early 2000s, Google changed everything with the release of Google Docs, making real-time co-editing a reality. But the main question is, how does it actually work? What's preventing conflicting changes from turning everything into chaos? Today, I'm going to take you through exactly how Google Docs and other multi-collaboration systems on the web work. Let's get into it. The internet wasn't designed for real-time collaboration. Traditionally, if you wanted to edit a document stored online, you had to first download a copy, make changes, then upload it again. If multiple people did this at once, their changes would conflict and only the last saved version would survive. This made real-time co-editing nearly impossible. To solve this, software engineers developed two major techniques. The first is operational transformation, and the second is conflict-free replicated data types, or CRDTs for short. Before we get into how they work, Let's take a look at how we got here. In the late 1980s, researchers at Xerox PARC experimented with early forms of real-time collaboration. Their project, called Colabs, allowed multiple users to annotate documents on a shared digital whiteboard. It was ahead of its time, but the technology wasn't ready for widespread use. The real breakthrough came in the early 2000s, when Google acquired Writely, a web-based word processor that focused on enabling seamless online document editing. Rightly aimed to eliminate the frustrations of multiple versions and conflicting changes by allowing users to work on the same document directly in their web browsers. This laid the foundation for Google Docs, which would later refine and popularize real-time collaboration. By combining cloud storage with real-time editing, Google redefined how teams collaborate, making real-time document editing a core part of modern work. The first factor to enable real-time collaboration systems was where the files were being stored. In modern collaborative systems, files are typically stored in the cloud, meaning they exist in remote servers rather than on a user's local machine. This eliminates the need to manually download and upload files every time an edit is made. However, some collaborative tools like Microsoft OneDrive and Dropbox allow users to work on local copies that sync automatically when an internet connection is available. In contrast, tools like Google Doc and Figma operate primarily in the cloud ensuring that users see the latest version instantly without needing to download anything beforehand. The technology that enables this is called operational transformation, and here's how it works. Imagine you and another person are co-editing a document on the web. The source of truth for that document isn't on your computer. It's stored in the cloud on a remote server. When you type a word, your change doesn't instantly override the entire document. Instead, your changes are broken down into operations, small incremental edits like inserting or deleting a character, but what happens when two people make changes at the same time? Let's say you type hello, and at the same moment, another person types hi. If the system applied both changes simultaneously without coordination, the document would quickly become unreadable. In operational transformation, every change is assigned a timestamp and queued in order. The server acts as a mediator, ensuring that all edits are applied in a logical sequence based on when the user entered their changes. If necessary, it reorders conflicting operations to maintain consistency. For example, if two users attempted to insert different words at the same position in the document, the system would determine which edit came first and adjust the placement of the second edit accordingly, preventing overlapping or jumbled text. Here's how the server handles these edits. Say you type the word hello into the document. Your browser then sends an operation to the server, specifying to insert characters hello at position zero. The server timestamps the change with a precise time marker recording the exact moment the edit was made. It then checks if other edits occurred simultaneously to determine their proper sequence. It also applies the transformation modifying the orders of edits when necessary. For instance, if one user deletes a word while another user adds a sentence right after it, 
the system will ensure that the sentence makes sense in the context of the removed word. It uses a mathematical formula that's complex and beyond the scope of this video, but I've linked the video below that has more information. The server then distributes the updated document to all users. As a result, their screen refreshed seamlessly, reflecting the final version of the text, where all edits have been merged without conflict. Now, operational transformation is a powerful solution, but it has one minor flaw. It requires constant communication with the central server. This is where CRDTs, or conflict-free replicated data types, offer an alternative approach. Instead of relying on a central server, CRDTs allow each user to maintain their own copy of a document. Changes are automatically merged using a set of predefined rules, ensuring consistency without requiring constant connection. These rules are designed to preserve the intention behind every edit, ensuring that documents stay synchronized across all users. For example, if one user capitalizes a title while another moves the same title to a different section, the system ensures that the final version keeps the capitalization while also reflecting the new placement. This approach is especially useful for offline-first applications. I'll link an hour-long video that explains CRDT in detail in case anyone wants to check it out. Some collaboration software like Figma combines operational transformation and CRDTs to ensure that design files remain in sync, even when a user temporarily loses internet access. So the next time you collaborate with someone on a Google Doc, Figma, or a similar web platform, just remember, it's not magic. It's a mixture of operational transformation, conflict-free replicated data types, and some incredibly smart engineers behind the scenes. These technologies are shaping how we work in real time across continents and devices. That's it for this one. If you're new here, my name is Uma. I am a software engineer and a content creator. I make videos about programming and technology. I'm also a software engineering coach and help software engineers increase their earning potential. If you'd like to work with me, click the link below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.